Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. The Florida Supreme Court. From the moment court began, there were tough questions. But it isn't that your point that the legislature can turn it down or they can keep it, but the governor can't? Yes. Is that the only point you're making, really? Well, that Governor Rick Scott's refusal to accept federal money to build a high-speed rail system got 40 minutes before the high court. Scott's lawyer was asked about the grant application that awaits signing. And the, does the governor have the, the authority to tell them that they cannot sign that agreement? I believe so. Afterwards, Scott's speak. staff they seemed confident. They made, they made a good argument. And the two senators who brought the suit were barely hopeful victory would be theirs. If, if they rule on for them, for him, then he's effectively vetoed the laws that we passed in establishing that rail system and design, setting the blueprint for transportation in Florida. He has a constitutional duty to faithfully implement the law. And faithfully means without question to work hard to implement the law. And instead, he's worked very, very hard to not implement this law. The suit is a last-ditch effort to save the train and the federal money. Florida must and find a way to take the cash by Friday, or it will go to another state. Yeah. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Lasalindo reporting.